Hello everyone, Crimtastic here, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Today we're going to be looking at four mods, but kind of three, but you'll see what I mean in a second. And the reason I'm naked is because we are at Vault 111 right now, and we are going to get our armor mod here, which is the Asuka Officer Uniform by Kokoroya Sasiki Bozu. Yep, that's a thing. Um, it is a full uniform that also comes with a sword. And in addition to this, we also have the Asuka Officer Moddable mod by 2034, which enables you to add uh, armor mods and ballistic weave to this, because it's normally pretty weak on the defense side, because it's just, you know, like a police officer uniform with no protection. So yeah, let's pick this up and see what it looks like. So when you first come out of Vault 111... You could just come over here, and she's laying here on the rock. And she's got a whole bunch of stuff, actually. So let's see what we got. We have the Asuka Murasama Blade. It's got damage of 60, DPS of 54. It's extremely valuable, apparently. Oh, and it's on fire. So, you know, there's also that. When you swing it, it's on fire. Uh, it all, she also had a scoped 44 and a, po a pipe revolver. Uh, we're not going to worry about that. And there's all these different pieces to the set. So we have the officer uniform, which is 15, 5, and 5. And I think it looks pretty damn cool, to be honest with you. Uh, we can put on the Saya, which is just you know, a sheathed sword. We've got the radio, which I believe goes on, yep, goes on my back. And these all increase different things. Um, the Saya increases strength by one, the radio's perception by one, the blade is agility by one, that's just a, a, uh, a dagger across your back there, you can see it. Uh, the bandolier, which goes across the waist there. And the handheld computer, which does intelligence by one, it's actually just a Game Boy. Let me see if I can zoom up in there. Yeah, so it's a it's a Game Boy that says Pip Boy on it. And here's the uh, here's the radio. And the, the knife, the bandolier, and the blade, or the the Saya. So, uh, let's pop on down to Sanctuary. We're going to uh, mod this a little bit. And then we will take a look at our weapon mods for today. So, here we are at Sanctuary. We're able to mod just the uniform. And it has this cute <laughs> icon. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, so, we could change all the lining mods here and everything. I'm going to go with Shielded. And we can do an add-on mod. Increases movement speed while sneaking makes sense. Custom fitted. There we go. And we'll put Ballistic Weave Mark V, which actually makes it now a viable level 90 armor. So there we go. Now we're going to take a look at our weapon. Our first weapon mod for today is the M1941 Johnson Light Machine Gun by Morbius777. This is a light machine gun, as as you may notice, and it, I believe, is a custom mesh and texture. It looks really nice, nice and battle-worn, and uh, when I have this in first-person view, you're going to see it has the weirdest sight I've ever seen in my life, and it's not that shark fin coming off the front. So yeah, I've never seen a sight like this, have you? It's just a dot in a metal plate. And that bottom dot is the crosshair. That's something else. So it's got a reload animation. You, they made the mesh. I just want you to see this. They made the mesh so that the clip slides into the side and doesn't look weird. So, as far as mods go, we have two... No, I was reading the wrong thing. We have a few receivers, actually. Uh, we have two receivers, 
I was right. There's an open side and a closed side. I'm pretty sure that's what I was just talking about. Uh, we have one barrel. We have five stocks. One mag. Four sights. That's the Rambo sight, and the standard sights have the... They're both that weird shark thing. And do tactical sights. And it has a compensator. And our second weapon mod and final mod for today is the Colt 1911 Series 70 Government Model by Stevo2986. This is a pretty cool looking gun. We have reviewed M1911s before. They're just an extremely common gun for people to make. Uh, it's got a pretty decent texture. It'd be friendly for people with medium end computers as well. Uh, there is only one thing that I don't like about this gun and I'm going to show you right now. I have never heard a meteor sounding pistol in my life. Now this may be what the M1911 actually sounds like although I kind of doubt it. Um, and it's not really something that should stop anyone from downloading the mod, I just think it's something that can use a little tuning. Uh, but let's see what mods we have. There are nine receivers. And the damage gets up pretty well. There's a standard and comfort grip. There's a quick eject mag standard sights, and the obligatory suppressor, which I actually haven't listened to yet. Let's see how that sounds. Now see, that sounds pretty good. I just don't know about the meaty sound of the pistol. So we're out in the field outside Sanctuary, and we're going to be testing these weapons out. We've got our bloody branches from the mostly hostile relay grenades that we've been over several times. I'm going to toss them over there. So first we're testing the pistol. So it, I think it does about 153 damage right now. Which if you think about it for early game is extremely powerful. And it's not like scratching these. But that's kind of good for a pistol to not be doing this much. And we'll see how it looks in vats. I mean, it looks pretty damn cool. And like I said, if the only thing that I don't like about this mod is that the sound is meaty, then, you know, I can get over that. <laughs> he exploded. There we go. So that's the pistol. It's, it's pretty good. And now, the LMG actually does less damage, but, you know, LMGs. And then we'll test the, uh, the blade. Which, by the way, is spelled B-L-A-E-D. Just a little fix that can, that can be put in there. So, here is the LMG. How I modded it at the station. Oh no, Mr. Synth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nothing to report. You have no leg. That's something to report. Well, here, maybe I can spawn some more guys and he'll, uh, he'll die honorably. Oh, that was another Synth. Oh no, I just mowed down another Synth. Oh no, it was me the whole time. Oh no! Maybe that put the, uh, the synth out of his misery. 
Is there really a Children of Adam guy here? So, the damage on this is actually kind of underwhelming. I thought it would be better. Where are you? Coward. Oh, hi. So yeah, if there was like a, uh, a drum mag for this, that would be an awesome attachment. What the hell is going on right now? Where did all these children of Adam come from? Are you, are you preaching at me? Yeah, how dare I do a mod review? All right, now let's test the sword. Just gotta remove this radiation first. Yeah, pretty good. Let's try one more. Maybe we'll get something harder. These children of Adam. It's not very good against Mire Lurks. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a nice slash. So, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been the Suka Officer Uniform M1941 Johnson LMG and the Colt 1911 Series 70 Government Model, as well as the Asuka Officer Modable Mod by 2034. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing for more videos like this. That's a train. But until next time, thank you so much for watching.